What's up guys, today we will be checking out the Titan Army. This is a 32 inch gaming monitor. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and sending this out for us to check out. I've been really impressed with it. Let's start off with the unboxing experience. It was pretty easy putting the monitor together. It was really nice. There's not a whole bunch of parts. It's really just the stand and you connect it to the back with a couple screws and it's very sturdy. It's a metal stand as well too. You're able to tilt it and all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, it just works. Uh, really well everything is very firm on here and like i said it's super super easy the monitor does have two hdmi uh, version 2.1 and then you have two dp version 1.4 and then you also have an audio out port as well too and once we get to the monitor itself like i said it's a big monitor um so you can really enjoy like watching movies on here um basically whatever you're doing is going to be really nice on here you do also have a really well organized settings menu on here that i'll tell you what refresh rate you're in if you're in gaming mode and the monitor itself is a 2k monitor as well too so you can enjoy 2k content everything is extremely crispy uh, looking as well so you get a really nice immersive experience especially with a monitor uh, being curved and of course you can mess with the brightness contrast and all that to get it exactly how you want one of the things I really liked was that there's a reading mode on here there's a movie mode so you can use those presets and it'll automatically adjust the screen for you so you don't have to mess around uh, with the settings and stuff like that so I thought that was pretty nice and also for gaming so you guys know I'm not a big gamer I do play like League sometimes and the first thing I noticed with the higher refresh rate on this display is that how everything is smoother and everything feels more instant so this will translate into uh, shooting games I believe are definitely you know the the target audience here so if you play a lot of shooting games everything is super instant and you know you want things to be fast uh, for a shooting game um, and it just feels instant fast so you definitely uh, really enjoy that if you play you know competitively now for me besides you know playing video games and seeing how smooth it is um, I really enjoyed the video editing on here I feel like the curved monitor uh, it being this wide and you know I thought that being able to see my content more in the you know the editing timeline without having to constantly stretch it uh, was really nice as well too um, so being able to see all of that content at once was really nice now this does have AMD adaptive sync on here so it'll eliminate the screen tearing on here as well too and also you get the game plus on here as well too which is really nice and then you also have again that so overall I highly recommend this monitor it's a very immersive experience and I think if you're a video editor or if you're a gamer or just doing productivity I think everyone will pretty much like this monitor it has a ton of settings and also just great for basically doing anything you want it to do whether it's watching movies gaming editing it's a really great monitor priced at a really good price now this monitor does have HDR 400 and the cool thing about that is that its peak brightness is 400 CD slash M2 so or 400 nits uh, so basically why that was important for me because I have a ton of sunlight coming in from my window where it would be really hard to see with my other monitor um, so this is something that I really like just like the max brightness on here uh, it's really nice. So even though I have a ton of direct sunlight coming into my room, uh, I don't have to close the blinds necessarily. I can still play the game and still see everything really uh, colorful and vibrant. So that's something that I thought was really nice as well too. Uh, one of the things that I noticed about this monitor, um, it is really, really big. So I just want to go back to that. It's you know a 31, almost 32 inch monitor. And um, it does take up quite a bit of space from the monitor that I you know had previously. Now, I don't necessarily have a big issue with that, um, but like I said, I think that's one of the, like if I was to nitpick like a small little con, this thing is is, is huge and it takes up, I can't see my speakers. Um, yeah, I can't see my speakers that I have. It just, it is a very big monitor, so you might need like a bigger desk. I don't I don't really think that's a, a negative, but just know that it's, it's big. And the monitor does support G-Sync and Adaptive Sync. Uh, so basically, without getting too technical, you will get a lag free tear free experience with this monitor with really good clarity whether you're playing shooting games or pretty much whatever you're playing uh, you will get a really good experience so i think overall for the price that you pay for this monitor um yeah it's not a 4k monitor so if you edit in 4k you won't be able to take advantage of you know the 4k content obviously but um, there's not too much I can nitpick about this price point. It really has everything you can really want. Okay, so just to wrap this up, it's an excellent monitor. I think the design, the unboxing experience, the curved panel on here is awesome for video editing. Uh, the G-Sync and everything just works really well with games. Everything is really smooth. 
But like I said, I think my only nitpick would probably be minor stuff like it is really big and also it doesn't support 4K, which is fine. Again, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So overall, I really like the monitor, the settings, everything else. It was just really sweet. So be sure to uh, hit up the description down below and check out the link and I'll catch you guys in the next one.